Hello friends, today we will discuss sixth problem in isometric projection that is a frustum of a cone base diameter 50 mm, top diameter 25 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. Here the combination of solids he has given you is frustum of a cone and a cylindrical slab these are the two of the combination of solids here let us see the orthographic view of the above set problem here you can see here this is in the front view you can see first of a cone below that you can see cylindrical slab here again you can see in the same thing in the top view before understanding the orthographic view let us know what is first of a cone Frustum of a cone is nothing but you can see the cone what I have written mm. from the apex to the required distance using a cutting plane cut horizontally at the topmost surface that is parallel to the bottom surface that means it will look like this see at the top circle diameter is 25 mm and bottom circle diameter is 50 mm and overall length is 50 mm this is called as a frustum of a cone i can show you one more example of a frustum of a cone you can see here the top diameter is 25 and at the bottom diameter is 50 mm and the overall length that is height is 50 mm this is called as frustum of a cone okay now we will see in detail about the orthographic view see here I have written XY line above XY line is VP below the XY line it is HP VP is always seen from front view and HP is always seen from top view see first term of a cone and cylindrical slab he has given you in the problem first we have to construct the cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm see here I have written 100 mm over here in the top view and height we can see the thickness of the cylindrical slab that is 30 mm in the front view now again you can see a base diameter of the frustum of a cone is 50 mm you can see in the top view and top face diameter of the frustum of a cone is 25 you can see in the top view and overall height that is 50 mm you can see here in the front view this is called as orthographic view now let's do the construction at any convenient distance at any convenient distance draw an horizontal line very thin lines see I will take this as the reference from here towards the right side base diameter of the cylindrical slab is 100 mm that is 10 boxes we have to move on the right hand side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay towards your left hand side again 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again from here 10 mm 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again from here 10 mm see we can find out the rhombus over here now I will call this one as A B C and D now i have to find out the midpoint between a and b b and c and c and d and d and a overall length is a to b is 100 mm b to c is 100 c to d is 100 d to a is 100 the midpoint is 50 mm that is 5 boxes 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 now I'll give the notation 1, 2, 3, 
this one as 4. Now I will use the compose. Before that, I will join A to 3. Then A to 2. Then C to 4. Then C to 1. I will join this. Then I will use my compose from A to 3. But an R touches 2. From C again. 1 to 4. Again from 3. 3 to 4. Again from here. 1 to 2. Now see here. The constructed base circle of the cylindrical slab. Now what is the height of the cylindrical slab? That is thickness is 30 mm. Vertical length of three boxes have to move. Here. 1, 2, 3. Again from here. 1, 2, 3. Again from here. 1, 2, 3. Again from here. 1, 2, 3. Now I will join this. Now I will call this as P, Q, R, S. The point of P and Q is same procedure what I have done in the below to construct the ISO circle same we had to follow in the top midpoint is 50 mm 5 box 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 now I call this one as 5 6 7 8 now I will join P to 6 and P to 7 and then R to 8 then R to 5 then I will draw the diagonal lines now against here from P to 7 I will measure the length I will cut an arc again from R to 5 I cut an arc then 7 to 8 same way here I to 6 I cut an arc now using the here we draw the tangent line after this again in the top face of the cylindrical slab we have to place the frustum of a cone base diameter is 50 mm 50 mm is from the center towards the right is 25 left is 25 you can see in the top view 25 25 25 25 25 25 okay now you can see here from the center i will take 25 mm 1 2 this will be by using sketch pen i will make a mark again here 1 2 by using the sketch pen i will make a mark again here 1 2 now here again here one two now 
I can mark here by using the uh, color sketch pen I will join these points again here after that the base here we can see here I will use the notations this one is a dash b dash c dash d dash midpoint of a dash and b dash is overall length is 50 the midpoint will be 25 25 minutes of 1 2 I will give the notation 1 dash half 1 2 2 dash half 1 2 3 dash half 1 2 4 dash now you again you join here d dash to 3 dash 2 dash to a dash again c dash to 4 dash again c dash to 1 dash now to add configuration i will make a reference point over here now from a dash to 3 dash to measure the length cut an arc again from c dash to dash measure the length cut an arc again from 3 dash to 4 dash cut an arc again from 1 dash to 2 dash cut an arc after this now what is the top surface diameter of the person of cone is 25 then height is 50 now we have to take height 50 mm from the center here 1 2 3 4 5 this will be the center here I'll draw an horizontal line and I will extend this vertical line the topmost diameter here is 25 you can see in the top view from 25 towards your right from the center towards your right left top bottom is 25 divided by 2 12.5 12.5 all the size 12.5 12.5 means I will take one and of box uh, approximately one and of box here one and of here I will make a reference one and of box here I will make a reference again here one and of box I will make a reference again here one and off I will make a reference over here now again same thing I will use the yellow color sketch pen I will insert the rhombus See in the exam you should not use the sketch pen for visibility. I'm using the sketch pen. See here now midpoint of this line, midpoint of this line, this line, this line. You have to find out. Now for the type what I will do, I'll write P dash, Q dash, R dash, this dash, midpoint of P dash and Q dash. Overall length is 25, 25 divided by 2, 12.5, 12.5 is approximately 1 and a half box I will take, okay, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, now from P dash to 7 dash, I will draw a line, 6 dash to C dash, 5 dash to 8 dash, 
and again r dash to i dash here by using your compose from center to cut and work 7 dash to 6 dash again from r dash i dash to a dash again from here 7 dash Seven dash to eight dash again from here five dash to six dash after this now we have to draw a tangent line again this side also we have to draw the tangent line now we will show which is visible which is in we can use a black sketch pen here and draw the tangent line over here again here and again This is what called as first sum of a cone is on top of a cylindrical slab. This completes the problem. Thank you.